John Schaefer from Iced Earth, and I'm going to show you some of the main riffs from the song Burning Times. <laughs> we're creating illusions, right? I mean, that's what the music industry is really all about. And you have to be able to, to make this whole, this, get this feeling of the pant waving next to a really loud cabinet. You need to stack up guitars so that on little tiny speakers, it sounds like that. So that's one of the things I discovered years ago that it took a, it, it took a lot of experimenting in the studio to be able to figure out how to make it work so that it feels at low volume on a crappy stereo system that it's still a guitar sound big. So you have to stack them up, which means you gotta really play tight. You gotta be able to do it so that it sounds like one performance. Live is a whole different animal because you're dealing with volume and you've, you've got the power of the amp there and the PA system blasting you in the face. So people say, well, hey, how do you do that live? Well, you don't, you don't worry about it live. You know, you do, you do what you gotta do. So anyway, that's, uh, that's one of the things that I always do with, with Iced Earth, I always have is heavy guitar stacking on the, on the rhythm parts. Okay, this is the other part in the, uh, the intro of Burning Times, this is what uh, Troy does live. I did this back in the studio in 1998, so here we go. <laughs> This is the verse riff into the chorus, which reintroduces the intro, so. Mm. 